What is soul food? Interesting question, what is soul food? So a lot of people um, think it is shorthand for all black cooking in America, and I think it's really something different than that. I would say soul food is the traditional foods of African Americans in the United States, um, and I would say it's one of a family of cuisines inspired by African Americans. Um, so you got basically the Chesapeake Bay area, which is kind of Maryland, Virginia, and you've got all the cooking associated there. We don't really think about Chesapeake Bay cooking that much anymore because we overate the animals, and so there's just not a lot of them around. And then you've got the low country where rice was grown on the eastern uh, shore of the United States. So basically all the way from Virginia down to Jacksonville, Florida. But mainly people think of cities like Charleston and Savannah, so a lot of rice dishes with combinations and seafood. And then you've got Creole cooking, and people think of New Orleans. So um, Creole country cooking as well, even Cajun cooking is somewhat influenced by um, African cooking styles and ingredients. And then what I think is soul food is really kind of that interior part of the rural south. So a swath of country between um, North Carolina all the way to Arkansas, even to East Texas where cotton was grown. I think that's where soul food lies. So one thing is to think about is where does this term soul food come from? A lot of people associated with the 1960s and the rise of the black power movement, black is beautiful. So a lot of messages about connecting kind of soul with earthiness and African Americans. But actually the earliest reference I found was with Shakespeare. So in a play called Two Gentlemen of Verona, uh, one of Shakespeare's earliest plays, there's actually a scene there where two girlfriends are talking about this guy named Proteus, and she says, knowest thou not that his looks are my soul's food? So there's a couple things we can take away from this. First of all, even in the 16th century, you got a couple of girlfriends getting together and saying a guy's yummy. Okay, we know that happened. Um, but also, uh, Shakespeare was using this wordplay. He was trying to use soul and food, something intangible with something tangible. So for the next 200 years to 400 years, soul food was really about religious instruction and the Christian tradition. So it was about reading your scriptures, it was about listening to sermons, and it was things to help your religious life. But fast forward to the 1940s, I think soul food comes out of the music world. So at that time, jazz was um, a very popular form of music in the entertainment of the United States. But the swing era and the big bands were the ones that were getting all the press, and mainly the white musicians. So the African-American musicians who really felt that they owned this musical tradition, they were a little upset about that. So they wanted to return the music to its roots, and its roots were the rural South, especially the black church. So that's when they started kicking around terms like soul and funky, um, and it got applied to the music, and eventually it was so popular it got marketed and applied to other parts of black culture. And that's what leads to soul food. So we could have been calling this food funky food, but I don't think that's appetizing. So soul food is the one that caught on, and that's how it, uh, how it eventually developed and, and played out. Edna Lewis, the great, late great Edna Lewis, one of the, the best cooks that we've ever had in, in the United States, um, had it right. She talked about soul food being the food of black people living in urban areas outside the South who were, were nostalgic for the rural South. So I think it's a cuisine of memory. Um, kind of remembering what it was like growing up down home, Sunday dinner, that kind of thing. If I were to pick kind of my typical meal, I would say it would be this. It would be an entree, which would either be fried chicken, some kind of fried fish, or maybe chitlins if it's a special occasion. Now, I know chitlins, that's a delicacy, and not a lot of people are feeling chitlins. I understand that. But that's what I would put on the plate, because I think that's a clear, clear, soulful entree. And then the sides would be mac and cheese, uh, greens, uh, sweet potatoes, some kind of beans or peas. Um, you definitely have to have a cornbread. Um, there'll be a bottle of hot sauce on the side because we like hot sauce on everything. And then I think red Kool-Aid is the official soul food drink. So I'd have a glass of red Kool-Aid. And then for dessert, it's either gonna be sweet potato pie, maybe peach cobbler or some kind of cake, maybe a pound cake, maybe even red velvet cake. So that's the typical soul food meal that I would put together, especially to introduce soul food to somebody who's never really had the food. That's what I would pull together.